Hey everybody, what's up? This is Jack with SGTV. Um, to any returning viewers, I want to thank you for the continued support. Um, I tweeted today, we had just crossed 900 subscribers on this channel today. And I know it doesn't sound um, like a, you know, it's not an impressive number. Um, from If you look at it from the aspect of... there are channels with hundreds of thousands of viewers but 900 subscribers here is we appreciate that deeply um it's a big you know we're getting close to a big milestone a thousand and spy and myself you know we have spy pie gaming hasn't been around very long so we want to thank um, everybody who does watch um, the content that we put out and because it supports uh, the community, you know, the gaming community we're trying to build here. So, um, to anybody new, Spy Pie Gaming puts out content surrounding video games, uh, industry news, and events in the gaming community. If that sounds interesting, go ahead and hit subscribe and make sure you have the notifications turned on. That way, you stay up to date every time we drop a new video so today's video is going to be another um, solo dungeon run uh, I started this last week with fungal grotto one um, today's dungeon is going to be arx Carinium. Um, I figured that I would just go down the list from this point of view so that way we just stay in order here and it kind of lines up with uh, your collections because I do talk a little bit about the sets so um, the monster set in here is Cel Celestrix's Mask the Celestrix set. Um, 1058 max stamina and two items when you deal damage. You can create an earthquake under the enemy that erupts after one and a half seconds, dealing 4,440 physical damage to all enemies within four meters and stunning them for three seconds. Can occur every six. So um, that's the monster set. Um, you have Lamia's Song which is a light set. It's directed primarily at Magicka based um, bonuses. You have the Medusa set, which is a heavy set. Um, it delivers a lot of spell critical and minor force at all times, increasing crit damage by 10%. And then you have the Undaunted Infiltrator set, which is, you know, most mediums, this is the medium set. Most medium sets are directed uh, primarily at stamina um, and builds that surround or that are, you know, built around stamina, pools, and abilities. So, um, anyway, we're going to go ahead and get into this dungeon. Last week, I ran the dungeon without my companion. I think this week I am going to run the dungeon with my companion. I think it'll make for a little bit more efficient of a run. I'm a my this particular character is a tank and doesn't pump a lot of damage if I'm not trying to pump a lot of damage. So I'm gonna take the companion just so it's one thing. It's it's Miri, she's set up as a healer, and so that way it's one thing I don't have to worry about or be thinking about anyway. Um, let's see here. So, so there are several ways. This is several ways to get into these dungeons. Um, they are instanced um, events, normally meant for groups of four. 
This particular dungeon is in Shadowfin. It's in the western half or western edge of Shadowfin over here. Um, I have run this dungeon and done the quest already, but it is, I think, in the Venomous Fins zone or area of this particular zone. Um, but yeah, anyway, all right, so we're going to go ahead and get into this and see how rough it is. I'm going to do a little more uh, talking about the boss mechanics. Let's go. This, this particular dungeon has three mini bosses and three, I call them primary bosses. Um, so I'm going to be doing a little bit more talking about it this time than I did last time. And we're going to just go ahead and get right into it. So I run um, Spinner's Lightning Staff on front and back bar um, on this particular character. That way I don't lose any set bonuses. Um, when I make the switch so just a personal preference it's not you know this character is going through some changes um, which I did I talked about in the build video for it um, anyhow so this content you know it's not too too awfully terrible map here all right so this is what it looks like you just kind of run through this is one of the off run off over here i'm pretty sure there's a boss in there and then you run through so anyhow um all right so lurchers you got a lot of snakes and some lurchers in here and there we go all right, so uh, let's see. It's gonna belong to me before it's all said and done. It's not too bad. Um, this is obviously on normal. I think you're if you're saying that you're uh, soloing content in veteran mode maybe it happens I doubt it I know that there is solo content that you can run on veteran uh, but all right so menacing let's see here we're coming up on our first boss so the fanged menace um menacing lamia curer curer so the mechanics of this boss is it has heavy melee attacks frontal cone attack ability which knocks back um deals a pretty good amount of damage if you're not ready for it and aoe poison damage um Overall, it's not real difficult, but, you know, be paying attention. Take care of most of that. All right, get that trash out of here. That was that cone ability. There's the AOE poison.
it's not an overall terribly hard uh, boss fight. The mechanics aren't like you know just un unbearable. Um, you know, if you're soloing and you're fairly new to the game, then I could see probably like wanting to needing to pay a little more attention than normal. But let's go ahead and pull everything. I'm not too worried about it. I generate ultimate pretty quickly. I'll go ahead and clean up these trash mobs. Uh, let's see here. All right. See, that's not too bad. Just snake after snake up in this place. Oh, get forced into first person there for a minute. Oh, there's, you know, preference when it comes to how you play, sort of. Single-player games, I think, are a little more um, apt to be enjoyable in first-person than this one is, but... Alright. It's not too bad. Is there anything else? Nope. Alright, let's just... You know what? I'm just going to crush on him. Alright. Go ahead. Got that out of the way. Did we just run in a circle? No. Alright. Cool. Alright. Ganacton the Tempest. So this is our uh, next boss. He's got a frontal cone, lightning breath, uh, periodically electrifies himself and deals a moderate amount of damage to everyone in a few shock pulses. Um, I guess his, his main and most damaging, or the one you would want to look for, is his lightning wave attack it's not awful but then again I on this particular character I'm not see there's his cone ability on this particular character I'm not really worried about taking a lot of damage it's not a big thing that's the shock pulses it's fairly unavoidable back over here run off away from me like that that would be his uh, main attack the one you just saw there Come back. All right, don't. I'm fine with that. And I got stunned. All right, you know what? Deal with this. See, overall, he's not real difficult. Um, as if you're not, you know, built to withstand a lot of damage, maybe. I'm running off in the wrong direction. I can't really say that he pumps a ton of damage. Um, but I'm kind of prone to say that. Because I'm built to tank. Just go ahead and pull everything back here. 
run off away from me. Mm. Hit me with the cone. dealt with. And I just have to jump down and get a uh, dead. real quick. Yep, got one hanging off, off to the side. All right. I like to start with the AOE, lay it down and then uh, damage from there. Nothing too bad so far. Oh, I got stuck on a rock, and that's goofy. If y'all hear me saying something in response to one of the characters, and you don't, or one of the enemies, they talk trash to you while you're running through here. Uh, just ignore it, because likely the volume is uh, turned down hear it. That was slow. That was a slow reaction. So this is the songstress. The main thing here is the song ability. Uh, she'll become stationary and start singing, dealing a lot of damage and pulses around the room. Um, I think she brings in a pet. Which she's channeling she got a heavy attack when she's channeling um i do believe there is a oh get back over here it's on the wrong bar there we go yeah Doing? Yeah, so the idea is you hide in here. Um, it's nothing too terribly awful. She got a decent amount of health. It can make, you know, if you're solo and <laughs> If you're trying to pick up um, specific sets and you're running this dungeon on solo, I definitely recommend uh, not doing it on a tank character, but you know, it is what it is. No.
So I think this uh, I think this particular ability is directly tied in some way to how much life or HP she has, how much health she has left. HP, like I'm playing some other game. Anyway, um, I think it's directly tied to uh, how much health she has left. Really worried about your song. I don't know if you know that or not. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of you. Yep, okay. Alright. We're going the wrong way. Yep, this is, alright, sorry. This is the one that's off in that room I was talking about. Yeah, turn around for a second there. We're gonna make it though. It's alright. I hate getting turned around in dungeons. It happens though. You run so many different ones. Alright, let's see here. Back across over here. On down. I have missed something. Alright. Let's go back and figure it out. It's a little silly doing a dungeon walkthrough and I done I went and missed something no good there we go all right now let's do this the right way this time I do gotta say the one thing I really dislike about playing a magic and base character is a tiny stamina pool but it is what it is. That's one thing. Magic characters can't really get away from stamina use. But stamina character characters could definitely get away from magic use. I don't know exactly what's going on here. Oh, okay. This is the uh, handmaiden matron or matron Ixnia. So this is supposed to be a boss. Um, it's a mini. Oh. Periodically targets. This boss periodically targets a player. Um, places with that red circle that you saw right there. Um, and what it does is the inner circle is the one you want to stay away from. Can be lethal if you're not uh, able to withstand a lot of damage. Alright, you know what? There we go. Okay. Um, the outer circle deals damage too, but it's not to the degree of what's in that inner circle. So, just be aware of that if you're running through, the, whenever you're running through this in any capacity, really, because uh, the targeting that takes place is kind of random. So... get a continent center circle there and get one shot it's never fun all right so we're at another one the ancient lurcher um, he casts an ability beneath him which deals damage to anyone caught in it 
Um, he also targets random players with a green beam, which deals poison damage. And when he drops below 50% health, he enrages. So just kind of be aware of all that. It's going to be going on. Shouldn't be too awful. There's that green beam. There's where he's... Yeah, all right. Hit me with the stun. Alright. Anyway, that one's not too bad. Get you over here out of that corner. There you go. Get with the rest of them. boss here. This should be Celestrix. Yep, here we go. Alright, so. Got a frontal cone ability. Um, deals a lot of damage. It's ideal if the tank that you're running with is tanking to keep this boss faced away from you if you can't, especially if you cannot withstand a lot of damage. As you can see, she's got one and a half million health. Um, that's for me. I'm assuming this is scaled like all the rest of the content. Um, she also periodically charges at players. Um, the main thing in this fight is going to be a lightning attack. And, well, all right, let's just get into it. You'll see it. See that right there? That's the scream. Um, I do want to say there's, yeah, there's that lightning. And the scream. And I hope you can see that this is why it's important for the tank to be tanking. Gosh dang it. Alright, here we go with the lightning again. So, Arx Corinium, um, I don't know if I mentioned this or not exactly, but it's another base game dungeon. The content is not too terrible, or the uh, monsters inside are not too terribly difficult. Not like if it was a DLC dungeon, that'd be a slightly different case. Those are tend to be much, much more difficult. He 
18,000. Pretty good for a tank. You ain't give me that time. Ah. I just don't pay as much attention when the mechanics can't kill me. Anyhow, that is Arc's Perennial. So, um, anyway, yeah, not too terribly awful. So, that was the walkthrough um, of this dungeon. There would be a quest to pick up except for I have already picked it up um, I will leave a in the description of this video I will make sure that I leave uh, some information about the story in this particular dungeon um, I will leave some information on the sets and to be found here at, including the monster set and uh, yeah so Normally, four-person group content can be soloed. Not too terribly awful. Um, if you have a character that is geared more towards dealing damage, um, and is not, you know, fragile and wet paper, um, I think you'd be fine running through here uh, with a DPS geared character. Even you know one that's a even one that's a balanced build, I mean, I just ran through it at, you know, roughly 30 minutes um, solo as a tank. I say solo. I Yeah, I, I brought my companion um, just so if healing became an issue, I didn't have to think about it. I could focus on dealing damage. I was a little bit frustrated right before recording. <laughs> had some technical difficulties and had to reinstall the recording software. So, my rotation was a little off balance there. Wasn't as uh, efficient as I could have been, but overall, it's not that, you know, it's base game, dungeon. Um, it's overall not difficult content. It's geared towards, you know, players who have the base game. There are some decent sets that come out of here. One that I was looking at is the Medusa set. Um, for another sorcerer that I am currently working on building one that's DPS uh, focused so you know you can run through here like I did with your tank um, if you have it if you even if you have a character built as a tank that doesn't pump a, a ton of damage um, and complete you know the the content so you can farm you know, the sets that come out of here, the Medusa set is a good one for Magicka. Uh, base characters, spellcasters, gives you a lot of uh, spell crit. So, I don't know if I'd put, if I was DPS, I don't know if I would put the uh, armor pieces exactly on a character like that. But, um, overall it's worthwhile, and I feel like I'm rambling on, so I'm going to wrap it up. The... Um, question for this video is going to be what dungeons have you had to run to farm sets I'll answer I have run Volenfell to get the treasure hunter set I no longer use it but I ran that dungeon quite a few times me um, alone me with spy and after so long you kind of get tired of looking at it all the dude ripper stuff that comes out of there just builds up and it's a little bit aggravating whenever you're trying to get certain pieces so leave leave a comment down below if you have had to do that um, don't mention 
strength of the automaton to spy, I think it might cause him to have PTSD. Took him three days to get a mace out of a dungeon, so or a mall. I can't remember if it was a mace or a mall. Um, anyway, so yeah, that is gonna be it for today's video. Um, if you liked it, let us know by liking the video, share, subscribe, engage in the comments trying to build a community and one in which we can engage and have conversation because um, that's you know one of the best parts about video games and and the community or and the people that are you know play that play these games is the different experiences you know getting to talk about those with one another so um Anyway, that's all I got, and I will see you guys in the next video.